Hello guys, this is Ismail's Photop channel 111 and today let's look at some non-blender content creators you should follow if you want to be a successful VFX artist. When learning any tool or software, the end goal should not be knowing how to use that software, but it should be to use that tool to make something like a movie, a game or anything. Watching Blender tutorials is great, but you should also look at what Blender is being used for outside making tutorials. So here is a list of channels that are using Blender or Blender-like software to make some cool stuff. Number one, branch education. Have you ever wondered how your video game controller works? Or what's inside a smartphone? Branch Education creates amazing videos using Blender, demonstrating the power of Blender's modeling tools and realism rendering. So check out their channel to see what amazing content they're creating and using Blender. See how the buttons and analog sticks work. And in the process, we'll learn where this delicate metal disc is located and why it's critical in almost all of the console. Number two, two minute paper. Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Dr. Karo Zsolnai Fehir. If, if you want to know what new tools are coming to Blender, you can watch Blender today or ask NK for updates. But if you really want to know what is to come two years or five years from now, Two Minute Papers is the channel for you. For every new functionality or fancy tool you see in Blender, 3ds Max or any AAA game, there is a technical paper that's written before the tool is implemented. Two Minute Papers is a channel that looks at new advances in 3D graphics technology and simulation industry. So if you want to know what's coming to Blender in, in the near future, this is the channel to follow. I'll take this any day of the week. And if we wish to simulate crushing this piece of concrete with a hydraulic press, that will take nearly a hundred million particles. Just look at that footage. This is an obscene amount of detail. Number three, MBG Core. I simply just had to add this one there because they have the most amazing, weird animations you can ever think of. Number four, VFX Express. Do you want to know how the big studios do it? VFX Express takes you behind the render button. I just made that up. I wanted to use behind the scenes, but uh, that means something different. So yes, behind the render buttons, so you can see the effects before they are rendered in your favorite movies. On the VFX Express Instagram page. We ended up replacing the entire plate with a full CG simulation of rigid bodies and fire. It turned out to be one of the most Number five, Caleb Natel. Do you want to impress your TikTok followers with some of the top shelf VFX tricks? This is the guy to follow. You can pick up a few tricks from him and now you are TikTok king or queen or whatever they call themselves over there. Number six, Red FX. Are you waiting for a big budget to tell your story? Red FX shows you that you don't have to. With just his apartment and some 3D graphic skills, he has garnered over 2.4 million subscribers and I'm sure he's raking in some monies as well. So if your story needs a big budget, this is one way to make some money for this big story of yours. Number seven, Sebastian Lee. You know how to use Blender, or at least you are learning how to. But have you ever wondered how a software like Blender is made? Or how Cycles Render Engine is made? Well, wonder no more because Sebastian League is here to teach you how to make your own Blender. Total expanded using your rim steepness parameter. So several episodes ago, back when I was experimenting with ray matching, I learned about the smooth min function for blending shapes together. This function just takes whichever is smallest. Number eight, Thin Matrix. If you are wondering how 3D softwares are made, I'm sure you are also curious how game engines are made. Follow Thin Matrix on his journey creating his own indie game using his very own game engine. Welcome back to my journey of creating a city builder game from scratch using my own engine. I'm documenting the entire process from start all the way up to release. And this week... Number nine, Tuxedo Labs. Speaking of indie game developers, this is another amazing game you should check out on Steam. 
Number 10. Pablo de Barro. And lastly, Kolido Crew. I'm sure you have already heard of them. I mean, each video they release gets about 1 million views in just a few hours. Follow Corrido Crew with their hit series VFX Artists React 2 to see them critique VFX effects in big budget Hollywood movies. So but how do you think they would have made all these? This is when I couldn't watch it. I couldn't handle it. This shot's actually done backwards to get her hair to flow the right way. Oh, oh I forgot how brutal this was. Just wait, dude. <laughs> Uh, that's it from me and remember don't just learn blender to know how to use it learn to use it to make something i use blender to make 3d assets are for sale that you can get as a patreon i over at patreon.com stroke top channel one on one or over my cg trader store at cgtrader.com stroke ismiles vfx thank you for watching and see you the next time don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and like the video peace